Tattooing has been around for thousands of years. It started off by using simple tools to inject ink under the skin to mark members of tribes. The modern tattoo needle has been around since the late 1800s and has remained relatively unchanged. The artist draws ink into the machine then creates the tattoo by injecting the dye about a millimetre below the surface of the skin. The speed of the needle is controlled by a foot pedal and punctures the skin between 50 and 3000 times a minute. I went through school doing art, graphic design, um, technical drawing, went travelling and while I was travelling was just kind of slowly getting obsessed with anything to do with tattoos or tattooed people. Came back to Britain, wanted to open a studio, ended up in Chester. Tattoo was just about sort of early 90s hitting a huge revolution and I kind of got in right at the right time. Uh, I'd always been getting tattooed so probably for five, six, seven years beforehand, I, I was getting heavily tattooed by a friend of mine, Steve, Steve Potton, who was the main reason that I started to understand what tattooing could be. And I kind of hooked up with Steve and realised what you could do, um, and that was it then. The spark was on, and I was chasing it then. It started with a tiger's head, top of my arm, left side, um, which I thought at the time was cool, but there was always that bit more. Once I knew I could have virtually anything I wanted, that was it. The ball was rolling, it was just an obsession. It was born big time, and that's where it started. I thought the most I could hope for was, was good ink, but it has gone beyond what I would ever have ever imagined. With the friends that I've made, uh, the tattoo artist, Mark, it's just, it's just been, Absolutely brilliant. What a joy to be with. There'll always be ink. The beauty of tattooing is that you're almost forced a lot of the time to create styles that aren't necessarily natural. Okay, and that's one of the biggest challenges in tattooing. Because um, at the end of the day, you open your doors to the public, and every member of the public's got a completely different conception of what they, they like, they don't like. Um, so having a closed mind to one style is, is, is no use whatsoever. Basically, I'm possibly the luckiest guy on earth because all the stuff that goes round in my head, artistically, all the ideas, most people would only have their hobby to, to vent them in, okay? Whereas I get 12 hours a day of my job to express everything. So I think emotionally and everything else, it all comes out. What does it give me? Apart from a big house and a hot tub, I make dreams come true. And I know you all think, who does he think he is, and blah, blah, blah. But I do, every day, I make people look better, I make them look pretty. Uh, and I get to connect with, with just the most diverse range of people you could ever imagine. I take bits from people, and, and ideas from people, and attitudes from people. And all in all, I don't really have a job, I just have a lifestyle. My style's probably evolved around maintaining the quality in the tattoo through the whole of his life, and still doing what I like to do. Structure, clean line work, and these are all the, the building blocks for me of, of a good tattoo. So when your, when your tattoo ages and gives, um, it'll have places to go, your lines will stay defined. So you've got guys like Tony Shavaro from Stinky Monkey, Joe Schmo Capo Bianco, Guy Aitchison, um, who just all happen to work, I don't think by chance, well structured and with a good understanding of colour and how tattoos are going to last. I think in the last decade there's been a huge wave of what we, what we kind of call fashion work now where maybe people that wouldn't have got tattooed before are starting to get tattooed uh, and so you're tattooing a much more diverse group of people. I'll be honest, there's a whole load of people getting tattooed that I really don't think should be or would have been. If there wasn't famous people getting tattooed, my industry in the last 10 years has done two things. It's, it's gone through the roof in standards and it's gone horrendously downhill in other ways and it's all due to basically fashion work. When I say fashion work, what I'm, what I'm really trying to talk about is um, types of tattoos that people are having maybe just because their friends are or they see stuff in magazines and I think this kind of work, um, sort of small tribal pieces, the, the reality is this tattoo was probably got because a friend got something similar. The truth comes out in the end because eventually she realises it's not really her and it's not what she should have had and it's been had for the wrong reason, it's been had because of fashion. 
this is what she should have had, this is what we do. This is a tattoo now that not only covers the mistakes, but it's been structured to last as well. So we've got bold line work, strong colour, good definition between areas using black and grey against colour, different types, types of line work to define areas. This tattoo will now last forever, as well as doing the job of getting rid of her mistake.